Not really that famous at all. Everyone's been addicted to social media. Teenagers, kids, adults, they always check their phones. And there's always going to be this person who has a different approach. Marco Campo, I'm a social media influencer and a content creator. Marco Campo is a versatile person. Being a content creator and a social media influencer is actually kind of fun. He is a passion driven man. Connect more with people and sometimes get free stuff. He is charming and energetic. Fun being a content creator and social media influencer at the same time is when people actually trust you because you don't just promote your brand, you also produce high quality content. Mark Ocampo is definitely the loudest most talkative and craziest person I know to the point where I stumbled upon one of his videos staying at McDonald's for 24 hours uh, I'm here under the playground because there are kids upstairs and they're playing and I can't sleep and this is probably the best place I could go and I was like, dude, what are you doing? I was 15 at the time when I heard about Vine and everyone was doing it so I was like, okay, sure, I'll give it a go I tried posting a video and it went crazy. I wanted to do some more but I had homework and I have to do other things. But then recently TikTok came out again and everyone was friendly, everyone was welcoming and I have to try it again because you know there's a lot of more things that I can do during my free time. Why not do TikTok or make videos and stuff? The first time I saw this dude he struck me as this person who has a strong personality. Probably because of his features of his strong eyebrows. Tell me what else I can do to make you believe that I love you. Tell me! You're never gonna trust me. He also struck me as a creative person, so... My question now is, who is he? What does he actually do? Mark is always ready to listen and understand. He's always ready to help and defend the people he loves. I keep posting content, vlogs, funny videos on my Facebook, my Instagram, and my statistics went up and up and up. And there's this one time where I posted a photo of mine on my Instagram story. There's my phone number in it, and it went wild. A lot of people were texting if this phone number was real. And yeah, I think I've made some friends along the way. Mark and I first met on Instagram and um, I followed him first because I really liked his photography and then uh, he DM'd me because he really liked my artwork and apparently I look like his crush, Selena Gomez. The first time we met we like spoke for like five hours and um, I found him really funny, he was down to earth. Yeah, we had a lot in common. You, me, we're face to face but we don't see eye to eye. I find it also really inspiring how hard and how much he works because he's really driven by his goals in life and he wants to achieve so much and it's really admirable and it's really inspiring because yeah it makes me want to be like that. Being an influencer and a content creator at the same time is fun but also a bit hard especially when you're a working student. You create content every day, you um, make, you connect with people, you make your homework, you do your work and um, it's kind of exhausting at times but I keep doing it because every time I create videos I see my followers, they, they do laugh, they do smile and it literally makes my day. There's never a dull moment with Mark. He does not get angry when you bully him, he just bullies you back. But. Don't make him angry because for sure, you'll regret losing a friend like him, that's all.